Hello there, superb internet and you amazing creatures of the beyond and you fantastic underrailers. So I have prepared intensively. Now, in my arsenal, I have also bought this adaptive night light vision. We're not gonna need it where we're going right now, but I'm gonna keep it on the side. Uh, I got the Omni tool, even though we can't use it. I've uh, read up on the wiki that there are some flimsy ventilation uh, shafts that you can open regardless of uh, requirements to use the Omni tool or the, the crowbar, but the Omni tool is much uh, lighter. So we'll have that. There, there are very few of those, but it's better to have it at hand and it's quite light and so is this one. This one is lighter than the uh, minor he helmet. And I think for now we have enough uh, traps with us. Also one thing that I have forgotten is that when we turn level 10, we can take a super awesome feat, but I'll take it next. Uh, I can't see them. Well, I you can't see them here, but there's so many. This is the thing. This is why you have kind of have to plan your uh, this this fit I want to get. This one is arguably the best one in the whole game. Uh, regardless of build, you should always take Blitz because grants you an ability that, when invoke, will instantly convert all your movement points to action points, granting you one action point for each three movement points up to a maximum of twenty action points. Pull down 10 turns. So basically, if you don't want to move from your spot, you could uh, uh, use your uh, movement points, which are separate from then your uh, action points, and convert them into action points to help you around. Of course, you can uh, combine this with other movement, uh, increase movement uh, feats, and get even more points, up to 20. But I believe that this one is a lifesaver in situations where you're pinned down, cornered, so we'll definitely want this. You can do it without it, but I really, really believe it's a good fit to have on, regardless of, uh, of, um, of build. Anyway, so let's go talk to this captain. I'm here to help uh, you recover the lost cargo. So Silas found someone derailed enough after all. Look, I'll take you there, but I ain't stepping further than the shore. I'm not a Quaker, but that place gives me the creep. The creeps. What's so scary about this place? Well, it ain't for the superstitious kind. Uh, I mostly dismiss the derailed sailor tales on account of them being pro uh, products of eating too many uh, mushroom cupcakes, if you know what I mean. But this one I know to be true from a personal experience. You see, there's something wrong on the Silent Isle. I don't know if it's haunted or not, but I'll tell you there's something strange going on there. Like what? All right, listen here. This one time I was sailing back from Core City when I started having problems with the engine power converter. To fix it, I had to turn off the main engine and I didn't want to do that in the middle of the river because the current was strong and I knew there were some stalag stalagmites around I could crash into. So I anchored at the nearby place the sailors call Silent Isle. I heard tales of being uh, cursed and how anyone who spends too much time there is never seen again and such nonsense, but I didn't. it didn't scare me. Uh, the only thing I uh, cared about is where they were, uh, if there were pirates there. As far as I could tell, there weren't any. I turned off the engine and the main lights because I didn't want to, to be seen. And I also didn't want them to drain the battery before I could finish the repairs. So I was working there in silence when just a flashing on so I could... S oh, sorry, a, a flashlight or on so I could see what I was doing. It took me hours to fix the converter, but I managed to do it. I powered up the engine and started to retract the anchor and I switched on the main lights. Then I saw 
Then I saw it, or should I say him, I saw me standing there on the shore looking back at myself. It's not that it's not just that I saw a guy who looked a lot like me or even that I saw a guy that looked exactly like me he was wearing the exact same clothes I was with the exact same um, stains and tears that uh, my clothes had it um, had it was like uh, I was looking onto a mirror except his pose was different and you know what the weirdest thing was? A few brief moments, I couldn't really tell which one of us was real. There was That was the creepiest feeling I ever had in my life, which is really, really creepy. I didn't know what to do. I just stood there staring at him and listening uh, to the anchor pulling up. As soon as the anchor was up, I pushed the throttle and reacted out of there. Oh, rest, uh, raced out of there. And nowadays, I just steer clear of the island altogether. Damn, listen to that. Gave me the heebie-jeebies. He nods. Yeah, so you sure you want to go there after all? Yeah, let's go. Alright, jump aboard. Sail to the Silent Isles. So the Silent Isles are quite freaking awesome. They're also very dangerous. Again. Hardcore saves. And let's go around into this format. Now, don't pick up the shrooms. Whatever you do, do not pick up the shrooms. As you can see here, you have a strange feeling. Uh, you feel the darkness claps around you and ominous presence in the dark of your mind. If you're gonna stay in the darkness, this will affect you. The more it stacks, the more problems you'll have. Don't pick up the shrooms. Whatever you do. Oh, come on, doggy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see if this works. This uh, alphas don't seem to be. Ow! They don't seem to be affected. I didn't use the. Well, I don't need to use the W. Or maybe I should have. Yeah, this one is just like a puppy. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, go here. Damn. Oh, shoot. We missed. Let's try the fire one. No? Well, it's not stopping any of the damage. It kind of helps a bit, but... Oh, I'm using the wrong... Damn it, I was just bleeding them. Shoot. I wanted to use the other one. We'll be alright. We will be alright. Pum pum pum. Can we heal with this? No. It is a okay. Okay, let's see what we have in the remains. Uh, that's not good. Let's go like this. Strange feeling. We want the hearts. We want the hearts. Uh, let's. The strange feelings must go away. If they stack, we are dead on arrival. Maybe we can get rid of this Azure as well. Hey, 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 hey. Have a nice day. 
Maybe I've taken too many bandages with me. Ah, we should be okay. So, bam. Let's try to pick up what we can from them. Oh, I'll take that. And that. And let's get rid of you. Three stacks already. I don't know how many stacks they start appearing, but there will be some shadow people, and those are fucking strong. They're actually, I think they mimic your strength and skills. They don't use your weapons, obviously, but uh, they will be quite dangerous, so let's play it safe. There we go. Uh, I'll just take everything, we'll sort it later. Let's see. Ah, this one isn't that great. These ones are spikes that can be mounted on metal armor suit, which we'll not use. This one is good for selling. I'm not sure... They say it lighting a light, but I, I never use that. So it's also not heavy, so we might keep it in our inventory. But I think it's used in crafting, I'm not sure. No, obviously you can pick this up when you're going back. They will uh, regrow. And these shimmering isles also have some interesting secrets. Then, as you can see, there are some entrances here. I'm gonna say because this is a long walk and don't want to jump into anything unexpected. There are many other aisles as well, like this, or similar. Anyway, they're quite intense. Just take it easy, slow. If you make too many mistakes here, you're gonna have a lot of issues. Now, this is what generates the aisles. We can't use it, we need, uh, I think, will to understand how this works. Three strange pillars rises from the pool. They are decorated with glowing symbols that you are unfamiliar with and they seem to hum, though they are, you are unsure whether they actually produce sound or if it's uh, just all in your head with the pillars alone. And if you're going psionic, you definitely want to check this place out. Because they give you some really cool powers, such as the power to mimic other NPCs and use their powers against them. And these beings are invulnerable, so all you can do is just reduce the fear and they will leave you alone. Quite an interesting mechanic, if I should say so. Let's keep on exploring. Now what we are seeking... Should be around this one. Okay, let's just wait a bit. Because we're quite high. Now I think it's past... Six or five or seven or something like that that they show up, so let's not push fate too much. Oh, this is the thing we're supposed to recover. And I got a little bit of experience as well. Let's just chillax a little bit here. 
Uh, this rubble might have something. I mean, if you get this. Azurita, eh? Azurite. Azurit. I don't know. Azu. Or this Azu guy. Azuri. Let's uh, sort him out. Oh! <gasps> we missed. Shoot. Well, fortunately, he is alone. Uh, let's burn him a little. There we go. No, why are you running? Okay, I'm getting that. Run, 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 run. Okay, we're safe. Just nine seconds and we can be going away. Now oh, these rooms are not all that formidable, so I'm just gonna leave them here. I think there was something here, but who knows. We can't check anyway. So we need the lighting. Uh, I think you can also use a lamp in this type of darkness. But these things don't occur so often, so it's okay. Okay, we're ready to go back. On the carpo. Let's go back. Perfect, let's bail. Bam! Simple, easy, efficient, fantastic and superb. We are the best. Let's give Silas his prize. Oh, the cargo! <sighs> Had any luck finding it? Yeah, got it right here. Excellent! You just saved me some money, kid. And in turn, as I promised, I'll, I'll save you some. Okay, okay. Here's what you gotta do. First, take this key, go to the slum, and look for a shack with an air vent right next to the door. It's in the south, south eastern, eastern part of the slum. The key will unlock that door. Inside, you're gonna find a trap door that will lead you to the wormhole. And the wormhole will uh, lead you into the depot A. And when you're done, uh, with your business, boy, come see me again. I might have some more work for you. So, right now, we're not gonna do anything crazy. But we will need something of big importance. That is food. Food that we will need to have at hand against um, mechanical bio damage. This is the one we want. Because it's gonna be a wild ride. I think four should be enough, but just in case, let's see if I can get some more. Um, no, we cannot. What the hell was that, though? Yellow puckerfish. Ah, it's just for crafting. Well, well, well. Uh, we'll need to also raise our uh, electronics Because I will want to make the taser then the taser will help us a lot Actually, we're just gonna go through the main door because we have access Oh wait wait wait, I have too many Of these things Where are they? I think 
that should be enough. Let me get some more... Uh, of this. Just in case we need them. I'm gonna leave this home. Light up a fireplace. I never use this, I don't know. I'm gonna leave this home as well. We have this with us. I think we have enough grenades for now, even now. Yeah, I think we have enough. I'm gonna also take this with us just in case. We are a little bit overcumbered, but we should be okay. I think this will help us. We have a ton of good stuff in here. Let's try to sell some of this stuff that we still have on. Ah, well, I suppose this is all we can sell. I could use an extra grenade. And the rest we're just gonna put it aside, blah blah blah, we don't need it. Hopefully we have enough traps with us. Although I might take a few more. The key can be helpful and I'll show you immediately where the wormhole is. Um... I'm gonna take one more thing with us. I'm gonna take this one just in case our weapon degrades too much. And let's take a few more extra weapons. I have batteries 9. Probably that's a lot. Let's leave it to 5. Um, what did I wanna say I want to get? Ah, a few more of this. So let's take, I don't know, 5 more. And five more of this. Just to be on the safe side. You never know. We'll have a little. That place is quite huge, quite intricate, and there's quite a lot of enemies. I hope that we have enough grenades. But the HG should do their job as well. Although I'll use the HG for other things. Sorry. So let me show you where the wormhole is. Although... Hmm, not entirely sure we want to go through the wormhole. Because it does put us in a precarious position. Ah, that one is locked. So if you go down here... We will notice that somebody is expecting us. Welcome to the wormhole, brother. Where did this tunnel take me? Destination Hell, brother. Also known as the Depot A. I'll be going now. I'm just gonna... Explore it a tiny bit. And... Hmm. If I remember correctly, this takes me through a complex, yeah. I'm gonna clear this complex, then we're gonna go through the main gate. Because uh, this complex is a level on its own. Oh, that's nice. Hacking? Hacking! Hacking! There's some lockers over here. Okay, I don't care about that. 
Hull drops. This is locked. Hard save. And we can use ventilation shafts also. Let's be sure not to be spotted by the cameras. Oh, we have already found our first strap, haven't we? But um, we can't actually pick it up. And since we cannot use the shafts, we'll just have to be smart about it. So, hmm. gonna put a trap over here and I'm gonna throw something it seems this shaft is open but uh... I'm not sure about that perception I'm gonna try to use a grenade here or maybe I'll try to kill them like this normally If I put two traps over here, though, and we'll just open the door, try to hide behind here, put another trap, shoot them. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Not that! Ah, you bastard! Oh, there's a top in there. And let's do it the smart way. Mm, although this dog might disarm my uh, traps. Not sure that they can pass this, but I'm gonna put two more. And start picking them one by one. Well, they do have guns, so... We cannot jump into the shafts. Well, we shall see. Let's try our best luck here. Hopefully he goes down. Bam. Easy peasy. Good. Okay, we need to get rid of this one. Let's enable our thingy. Well, they've already heard us, so they're gonna come with uh, everyone else. So either I'm gonna burn him or throw them all into the... Hmm. Let's burn him. Oops, I didn't use the burn. Ah, I hate it when this happens. No? None of you are stupid? Stupid, I see. Oh, that was nice. At least that one is gonna run a little. No! Why do you per your sis perception is good? I don't understand. Okay, let's try to burn you as well. Hey, no, no, no. Well, that didn't work out as expected. At all. 
Ow! Our touch is reduced and the evasion. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, let's disable our shield. Let's go invisible. Somebody's gonna come into fight here. And hopefully... Step into our trap. Perfect. Perfect. Well, that wasn't perfect, but whatever. Oh! No, that's bad. Ah, uh, mama, 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 let's burn him. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's hide here. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, we did get some... Ah, that bastard is hiding! Seems, uh... Can't get, uh... Okay, this one is still burning. You're gonna get it! Hello! Perfect. Let's try to... Wait for him here. Oh, the hell, you have a dog? When you have a dog. You and your dog. How did I miss that one? Oh, you're annoying, doggy. Super, super, I'm happy with that. No, he has a second dog! You bastards! Ah. Okay. Um. Where are my hippos? Okay, okay, okay. Maybe you're all right, let's see. Yes! Hoo hoo hoo! That was quite good. Let's heal. Let's uh, recharge our batteries. And now let's see what this guy's this bastard's had on them. Oh, I'll take the heart, thank you. Ah, most of these are junk. I'll take the pistol, it's not that heavy. Junk, this one might be... We could dismantle it. Ooh. This one looks cool. I need some of the bolts. A dog ate treat. It, well, it's a uh, acid burnt free mode. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, we might be able to sell this junk. Can we recover our little trappy? Oh, there's a locker here. And a barrel. Another treat. Oh, this one is quite heavy, but... Fuel for campfires. Oh, okay, why not? Who knows? 
Nem van egy őszét. Egy ki. Outer South Gate Key Old Junkyard. We should key open the Outer South Gate in the Old Junkyard. We definitely want this. Two beautiful things. Yeah, I'll take them. Mm, we're not doing so great on uh, weight. Let's try to pick this fragment. We might fail, but... Yeah, insufficient skill. Oh well. It is what it is. Why can't I click on him? Maybe it's down here. Yeah. I'll take this, I'll take this. I'll take this and this. Those are good for selling. Uh, we have another one over here. Then we've been quite productive. Now we should be careful. If I remember correctly, there are a lot more uh, traps. And a lot more doggies. Oh. What we have here? Incendiary bullets. I already got security. Okay, we want that. Let's clear the place here. More caltrops. To be honest, these caltrops are not anything special. Ooh, that will sell really nice. Ah, so will this. Yeah, I'll need to probably take a take a trip back, but I'm clearly not gonna go into the junkyard through this place because we want to. Oh, that's nice. We want to get rid of the weight. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, thank you. That is so kind of you guys. Faster doggo. Well, at least they. I should have chosen the other one. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, look at this dog collar. More hearties. I'm not sure if this was the way or the other one. Was the way. No, it's not. Well, probably there's something inside there, but I'm not gonna bother. You can also use the ventilation to access it. But we need flimsy ventilation shafts in order to open them. No! Oh! As I said, take it easy, take it slow. Don't rush. Hug the wall. Listen to my own advice. But I think this one explodes in vicinity, I'm not sure. Let's try again. Plus there is this explosive barrel here. Okay, that one might prove problematic. Is there a door here? Indeed there is a door here. These are rocks. I think there is something behind these rocks if we uh, remove them later. 
We'll get access to dynamite TNT or something like that. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, we're almost to the next level. Ventilation? I don't remember what this one was leading to. Oh yeah, and... I think we can disable the um, turrets. Hack, attempt level we can because we're super powerful. Security, security auto turrets, let's turn them off. And exit. Yeah, I'll take this. So we don't have to find that fight that turret if we don't want to, but we can still destroy it, I think. For the parts. Um, before we do anything, let's just check these doors. Well, you know what? Um, have a nice night. Can't argue with uh, the junkyard muties corpse. Muties don't. Well, they're kind of sentient. But. Still gonna attack you. Can still talk to them. Hmm. Ah, so I can avoid all of that. Ah, this was the way up, I think. But there are two ways up, I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. I don't remember where this was leading. I know there's some stairs here as well. Locked. Yeah, that one never opened. Well, actually, let's destroy this one. So, we could use... We didn't do much damage with that, did we? Let's try the serrated. No? Nothing? Ah, let's just brute force it. There we go. Next level. And as promised... Oh, I hope I can take it now. <laughs> can I? No. Ah, that's sad. Well, I mean, still, this one is sharp, shooter is still good. Uh, what did we say? We want our electronics up, but first our crossbow. No matter what, we might... Well, our evasion is okay for now. Stealth as well. We might want the traps to go to 50. And electronics, we're gonna push it to 30... Five. Let's go mercantile a little bit higher. Get better prices. Oh, we're looking fantastic. Too bad we couldn't get the fit. Anyway, you don't need to rush that fit. You can take it even later. Um. But we are already very overpowered, and this is what happens if you 
Are, wait, can I take this HMI now? I did put in traps, right? Put 50, maybe it will work. Yeah. We could pick them all up. Although I am kind of encumbered, so. No, before we s climb up. Save. So this is one entrance. Out. This is kind of intermediary. Oh, we want this. Because it's um it's not useful. There is sort of like a barrier. Let's just close this. But we'll go through the other way to have some fun. We should also take down the cameras. Huh? Did we actually get? Ah. We don't get anything from the cameras. Don't remember where this one was leading. I have a weird sensation that it was somewhere inside the building. Oh, it's another enter exit, actually. Oh, crowbar. Nice. Anything else? Okay, I'm. Uh, if we're gonna open this door, there's gonna be some muties out here. And a doggo. There are some mutant... Those I, th I think those are mutant dogs, I'm not sure. Mutant dogs are the worst. <laughs> Okay, I think we are all right. Go out of stealth. And let's clear out this. Actually, I'm gonna pick up the mines because they give experience, even if I don't want to carry them all. Damn it, I'm already full. Yeah, they give experience, so I'm gonna look for a container or something to drop them in. Maybe here something. Okay, so far so good. This is the only room we couldn't access. That is because it's locked. Yeah. Let's get this one as well. Are there any left? Ah, there is one more here. Let's get that one as well. And we are done with this complex. Usually this one is a bit difficult to traverse, especially for beginners. I know I've spent like once 20 to 30 minutes just clearing this whole place out. Because it was so difficult. But I wasn't so versed in all the mechanics of the game. So. Perfect. And now we can just go home. Unload some of these things. Close the doors. And you'll use the other one, the scavenger's place. To go through. 
Now if we do the scavengers mission to find the wormhole, we'll, I think we'll lose access to it, so it's better to just do it um, to finish what we're doing in the junkyard and then we can do that one. And it will be all right. Now from here I think I'm just gonna cut this episode shorter. So I could uh, sell all of this stuff and blah 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 blah. And then I'll prepare for the next dive into the beautiful junkyard. And in the next episode we're gonna do more fighting because obviously there's there are some really hardcore uh, monsters in there. Actually I'm kind of surprised how the developers built the game because you hit some high level monsters from the beginning, especially if you don't know where you're going. But it's it doesn't hold your hand. It's not an easy game. It's not. A... I mean, it does offer you the opportunity to, to avoid all the fights if you want, or a large portion of the fights if you're sneaky or stealthy, and if you have lock picking and hacking to a good uh, degree. So you could go with oddity leveling up and uh, try to minimize the fights. If you are just doing ODT uh, hunting, although personally, as I said, I don't like that. I do like to find an occasional ODT, but to be honest, if you're gonna just focus on ODT hunting, <sighs> you, you need a guide to see where of their location to get the maximum experience. This way, at least you're just doing fights and you're going... And may, you can even revisit some of the places that we know the enemies will revive and gain some extra experience. Not a lot, but a decent amount. Well, guys, you all stay awesome, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye 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 bye.